Hey future lawyers, it's your girl Jamil and welcome back to Jamil's journey to JD. Today I'll be taking you guys along with me on a vlog. I'm actually in my last full week of classes this week so I figured I'd bring you guys along with me and capture the footage while I'm still in school. So I'm actually about to get ready to head to a local bagel shop and get me a bagel um, before I head to class. But if you guys are ready, make sure you stay tuned and we'll hop right into the video. Alright you guys, so I just got my sandwich. I got a Nova Lox sandwich, so I love that for me. I got it on um, a plain bagel, and I actually love their bagels here because they're not too like thick, and you know, I hate like, I really don't like bagels that are like really bready, you know? So um, I got the cream cheese on the side because I'm really funny about like how much cream cheese I like, but I'm actually just going to take a few bites of this and then get ready to head to school. Um, today, I only have, technically in real life, I have three classes today. I have family law, business organizations, and negotiations, but my business organizations class we are not meeting today she wants us to watch a movie instead um, and apparently this movie is going to be um, something that I'm going to actually need to recall for the final she told us that one of the questions that we're going to have on the final is going to be pertaining to the movie so I'll probably do that today um, in the place of class but yeah we're about to get ready to head to school um, I'm still a little early um, by the time I get to school I probably have like about 20 25 minutes left before school starts so I'm doing really good on time um, so I'll pick you guys back up when I see you when I get to school Alright you guys, so it is officially movie time, right? And I go ahead and click the link and watch the movie that the professor said we gotta watch. And y'all, why is this movie in black and white? Honestly, I have not watched a black and white film in I don't know how long. But I just hope that even though it's an old movie, it's gonna be a good movie. So I'll let you guys know how it goes and if it turns out to be a good movie. Um, and how it relates to our class material. But yeah, you guys... I don't know it's an hour and a half and hopefully we can just get past the black and white but I'll check in with you guys once we're done and yeah all right you guys so my school is having like a student appreciation end of semester type of event going on so right now we have a food truck and we have an ice cream truck so I decided to come out here and get me a taco um, I think it's really nice that the school is doing something for us specifically the student bar association put it on so I just decided to take a break from the movie which by the way you guys the movie is going really well um, and I just wanted to vlog and take you guys along with me and I ordered a sweet potato taco so I'll be getting that in a little bit um, it should be done really soon so Let's see what this taco looks like. All right, so I'm back in the pod and I have my tacos here. Let's see what they look like. Oh, these are cute little tacos. So I got the, I guess like vegetarian option. So it has uh, sweet potatoes, black beans, um, tomatoes, cheese. It looks actually really good. So I guess I'm gonna eat this in a little bit. But yeah, I have my negotiation in about 10 minutes, so I, th I think I'm going to maybe eat it while I'm in class. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do, because I don't have enough time, and these tacos look too good. So I am going to get myself ready for my negotiation presentation, and I think I'm going to let you guys see what that looks like. Um, but yeah, we're about to get ready to go to class right now, and I'll see you guys when I do my negotiation. hopscotch um, so we definitely talk about several topics that we'll get into and the first clip that we're going to show kind of introduces 
what exactly hopscotch is and then all right so i'm going to speak to you a bit about confidence arrogance and power all right so when we talk about power power has two prerequisites right so the first one is the explicit or implicit threat of impasse right and number two the credibility of that threat that is for the negotiator to exercise the power the counterpart must believe that he will walk away from the bargaining table without a deal if his demands are not met. Um, and this was clearly demonstrated in the video where Mark and Samantha were going back and forth. Um, uh, Mark was the only one who was willing to offer her a real deal. You know, I know um, Barbara you know, talked about it a little bit, but she went out and so Mark- of the negotiation. So even if they know that maybe their, their side or their bat is worth a little bit more, they tend to think that the other side thinks that there's less based on what, uh, what the initial price is. So, negotiator style. So, negotiator style refers to the different approaches that a negotiator may take during a negotiation. These different styles can greatly, very greatly in large impacts on the outcomes of negotiation. And negotiator style may be influenced by a person's personality, culture. All right, you guys. So, it is officially the end of the workday, and your girl is really tired, but still have more work to do. Um, tonight, I'm actually just going to get ready to prepare for school tomorrow. I'm actually going to be on call for evidence. So I have to get some reading done for that um, and just prepare for school. I have two classes. I have evidence tomorrow and criminal immigration. And I'm actually going to give you guys a life update and a semester update so you guys can know how things have been going for me. Um, just to kind of recap the day, though, let me just tell you guys. Um, I feel like today was overall a good day. You know, I had... Uh, family law, which was good. Um, we talked about um, custody agreements between families um, and what that looks like and the different options that are available to families depending on what they want to do um, in terms of how they want to split their time and what is most importantly in the best interest of the child. Um, my second class, I told you, got canceled. Well, we had to watch a movie in lieu of being in class. Um, and so far, the movie was good. I have about 30 minutes left. Um, it's about a company who um, hired a woman who is a shareholder. So they hired her as an employee. Um, or was it a director? See, I don't even remember. I need to go back and watch it. Um, but either way, that's going to be on my to-do list of things to do. Um, they weren't really too fond of her as a shareholder. They thought she was really vocal. Um, this movie does take place in the 50s. And so I think it really speaks a lot to the evolution of women in the workplace and being valued and heard, although there is more work that needs to be done in that department. Um, I think this movie definitely highlights some of the challenges that women um, business women had to face at that time so that was you know just good perspective just history and context on the evolution of women in the workplace um, I had the taco truck which was good taco truck was good the tacos were really good um, I actually remember those were the same tacos the same taco truck that they used when we had orientation for our first year of law school so that was good tacos were good um, the negotiation went really well on my class um, we had four groups and we, my group was the third group to go. Um, and so we did a negotiation on, um, Shark Tank. So I wasn't able to show you guys the clips just for copyright reasons. Um, but maybe I'll go ahead and link it in the comment section below so that you guys can watch it on your own time and kind of see context of how things went. Um, so with the negotiation, um, I spoke about like power, confidence and arrogance, during negotiation based on the strategies and techniques that we learned in class. Um, my other classmates talked about pivoting, anchoring, um, body language, other communication styles, um, and other negotiation styles. So that was really good. I'm really proud of my classmates and I. We really did an amazing job um, just kind of working together, everybody pulling forward their strengths and different suggestions on how to improve our experience. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, a twist is that we also have to grade our group members to see like how well they all did with contributing to the project. Um, and I would say we all contributed equally, but that was something that I haven't really been exposed to in terms of um, grading my teammates to see how well we all did um, in comparison to our contribution. So uh, that was really interesting. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And I will be 
posting another video pretty soon after this one gets uploaded. Um, this probably won't get uploaded until after finals. If I can get it done before then, then shout out to me. But I um, have a lot of work to do, so I don't think I'll be able to upload it in time. But nonetheless, I will do another video just kind of updating you guys about how this semester went, um, challenges that I faced this summer, um, I'm not summer, semester. You see, you guys, I'm tired. Um, any challenges that I face this semester and also my plans for the summer and moving into fall semester, my last year, moving into my last year of law school. So that's gonna be um, a different type of experience, but I'm so excited. Um, and if you guys are excited as well, again, make sure you follow along with me on this journey. Um, I will try to share as much as I can, document as much as I can while I'm still in school and while I still have this experience. So you guys can also see what it looks like. So again, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.